Hey guys, today I've got a bunch of new makeup here to try out, but the products I have are from brands that I have never used before. Now, if you've been around my channel for a while, you would know I'm a drugstore gal, but all of these products are more on the high-end scale, and I did have to do a little bit of shopping around to find them. I am super excited to show you everything I've got and also hear your thoughts on the products and the brands. So let's just get straight into it, but if you are new here, make sure you subscribe. And then let's go ahead. All right, don't mind the hair. <laughs> I'm still trying to get the hang of my Dyson Air Wrap, and I just find that the curls drop really quickly. So, I don't know, I'm just gonna leave them in for as long as possible. Starting with a foundation, I am finally trying the Pareto BB Cream. The reason I picked this up is because I hear Anna rave about it all the time. It's one of her absolute favorites. I trust her recommendations like no other. And I also think Taylor Wynn likes this too. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, the shade has me a little concerned. It almost looks brown, but look, let's just see what happens, okay? So it claims to leave a healthy looking glow and flawless coverage. It's also fragrance free. shade is a lot better than what I thought it was going to be. The formula is beautiful. I literally, like, I can't even feel it on the skin. It's so lightweight and look at that glow that it gives. Very natural. I would say a medium coverage on me. I can still see some of my marks underneath here. I'm going to try the other side with a sponge and just see what I like better. Okay, so the sponge definitely absorbs a bit more product. Oh my God, look at this pimple. It looks like I'm growing a freaking horn. No, what's it called? Do you remember that? Um, is it like a video clip of Lady Gaga and she's got like these really prominent cheekbones? <sighs> That's what I look like. <laughs> anyway, this is what the sponge side looks like and the brush. I'm going to go in with a little bit more and see if it layers up nicely. Also going to blend that just under my jawline a little bit. What do you guys think of the shade? Hmm. I don't know, I feel like my neck still looks a bit yellow. That built up beautifully. I am much happier with the coverage on this side now. I love the finish of this so far. It is not clinging to any dry patches. It has good coverage and my skin looks extremely glowy and healthy. So far, so good. Next, I have a concealer and excuse my pronunciation from Oma Beauty. Now I've heard pretty good things about this brand over the years. I did pick this up from Beauty Bay and a little bit about the brand from the website is that Oma Beauty is the most inclusive black owned beauty brand. Founded by a Nigerian born former beauty executive, Sharon Shooter. So the Stay Woke Concealer comes in 20 shades. I picked up the shade Fair Lady T1. It's described to be full coverage, lightweight, and has a satin finish. It sounds right up my alley. So it's got a nice big doe foot applicator, and this is the shade here. It does feel quite thick in texture. It looks like it's going to have a really nice coverage. Loving the color match so far. Okay, so with just that one layer, it's giving me pretty decent coverage. My under eyes look really smooth. It's not as radiant as I thought, but I can definitely see a little bit of a glow there. That could also be from the BB cream underneath though. But overall, it's blended out really beautifully. The texture feels really nice and comfortable. I might just go in with a smidge more right in the hollows of my eyes there. That layered really nicely. It doesn't look heavy or cakey at all. Oh, my skin is looking glowy. I love it. Next, I have some cream cheek products and starting with something I have been wanting to try for years. This is the Milk Makeup Matte Bronzing Stick in the shade Baked. Now in Australia, they do only come in these little mini sizes. This was still like 30 bucks though. Okay, I just totally butchered it trying to take that little plastic cap off. I've heard very mixed reviews about this and one of my biggest concerns is the shade. So this is what we're working with here. It doesn't look as bad as I thought. 
Like it's warm, but it's not super orange and it feels so creamy. When I'm using cream products, I don't like to go ahead directly with the stick and apply it to my face because I feel like it moves the foundation around too much. So just with this bit on my hand, I'm going to dip a brush into it and then apply. All right, the color's looking nice. The formula is easy to work with. That is blending out beautifully. I'm going to apply a little bit more just to try and build it up. I don't know if it's the foundation underneath or if it's actually this product, but I'm still getting a very glowy finish. Just use my sponge to blend out the edges. Okay, another product that I am really happy with. I think it looks great. The formula was easy to work with. Amazing. The next product I have is a cream blush by Tower 28. This is the Beach Please Luminous Tinted Balm and it is in the shade Rush Hour. Now I'm pretty sure I got this from the website Revolve. I will link everything down below because I can't quite remember off the top of my head. But a little bit about Tower 28. The founder Amy says that she had sensitive skin her whole life so she wanted to create a brand that would cater to those issues. So it says that her products are non-toxic, free of sensitizing irritants, full of calming, nourishing ingredients, plus a healthy dose of fun. <laughs> Not to mention vegan and cruelty free. I usually like a balm formula. I feel like that is truly what gives you a glass skin kind of finish. I'm just going to use one of my Sigma Air flat top kabuki brushes. The texture feels very lightweight. I know the word balm can maybe sometimes sound like it's going to be heavy, especially when you think of like a lip balm, but this feels very lightweight on the skin and I like how it's blending out. It's not disturbing any of the makeup underneath. Again, just going in with my sponge to blend out the edges. I might swap to this Real Techniques brush. It's just a little bit more dense. I would like some more pigment. I feel like it's very light and I do like a heavy, kind of color to my blush, really, you know, add some life back into my skin. The next product I am so excited about, this is the Kosas Cloud Set Baked Setting and Smoothing Powder. Now, I was sold on this one from Jamie Page here on YouTube. Her makeup just always looks, oh my God, just so natural, beautiful, flawless, mm, amazing. I see her use this powder all the time and this is available here at Mecca in Australia. So this is described as an ultra soft sheer setting and smoothing powder baked with skincare actives that help minimize shine and the appearance of pores. It has a unique airy texture and gives an unreal finish that feels like nothing on the skin. I'm so excited. I love this packaging as well. Beautiful. So before I go in with powder, I'm just going to check on the concealer. It has actually done really well at not deeply settling into my lines. Like I always get a little bit because that's just what the product does, but that has hardly settled. Very good. So I picked up the shade Airy and it's quite a fair shade. I might actually take this obnoxiously large Sigma powder brush and lightly tap that all over. I just want to see how it sets. I was kind of expecting it to leave a bit more of a glowy finish. You can definitely see that this side looks a bit more flat as opposed to the dewiness on this side. Okay, I might go in with a little bit more blush just to kind of get that balm finish back. I also feel like that color faded quickly. I don't know if the powder muted it or what happened, but that is applying nicely over the powder. No dramas there. I do feel like it's made my under eyes look just a little bit dry. See right up in the corners here. Just looks a bit dry. It looks really nice on the rest of my face though. Very smoothing and light as it says. And then the last product I have to test out today is the Nabla Skin Glazing Glass Skin Finish Glow Powder. So a highlighter. Now I picked this one up from Beauty Bay. I have heard pretty good things about Nabla in the past. I remember 
They first come to my attention years ago when they released that concealer that was like a tape shaped dupe. But online it says that they are an Italian indie brand. Their formulas are extremely innovative, rich in details, and that's what makes the difference. They are also cruelty free and vegan. Now, I adore this packaging. There's something about a see-through packaging that I just love. Let's just get a real good close up of this, okay? How beautiful does that look? Look at that. <gasps> that looks so smooth and glossy, like it's not metallic, it's got a gloss to it. Oh yes. Okay, what brush am I gonna use? I think I'm going to go in with this Sigma High Cheekbone Brush. It's kind of flat, so I think that it will apply it very nicely. Okay, that is absolutely giving me glass skin. Let me just blend it out a bit. I think I may have gone a little heavy handed, but oh, oh. okay. I'm actually going to try a fluffy brush and see if it applies any differently. I need to make sure I don't get my friend here. Don't need to be highlighting the pink. Okay, I actually think I like it better with the fluffy brush. I feel like the dense brush kind of placed it there. It looks a little bit like a harsh line. Whereas the fluffy brush blended it out a bit better. See, look how much my hair has dropped just in the half an hour it's taken me to do my makeup. What this? <gasps> All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup and then I'll be back to give a quick little rundown on the product. Okay, I'm just slicking my hair back because I'm really unsure with the Dyson. Like, I get nicer curls when I use a straightener. <sighs> I don't know, that thing has a mind of its own. But anyway, the makeup, okay. The Perito BB Cream, I love the formula. As I said, very lightweight, has good coverage, and hopefully it's long lasting. Tell me what you think about the shade match. I'm a little unsure, but we'll see. Very excited to use that again. The concealer, I really loved the formula. It was a good shade match. Right now though, my under eyes are looking a bit, how you going? Let's get a little close up here. See how they just look a bit crepey? I don't know. I feel like they've kind of gone downhill and I'm not sure if that's the powder or the concealer. So I'll definitely try them both again, just not together. So speaking of the powder, I think that it's done a nice job setting the rest of my face. It feels very lightweight. It's just under my eyes. The bronzer stick I really liked. Again, great formula, blended easily. The color wasn't as warm as I thought, so I think it's going to work. The blush, I do like the formula. I love that balm texture, the just glowy, glossy look that it gives to the skin. I just don't think it has a lot of pigment. Like again, it's already kind of faded, so. I don't know, I think I'll have to keep putting that one to the test. And then lastly, the highlighter. Love. I feel like it has just left the most glossy finish. It's not metallic, so it doesn't look harsh. It just looks beautiful and glossy. Can't wait to dip into that again, and I definitely think that I will use the fluffier brush as opposed to the more dense brush. All the other makeup that I used, I will list down below in the description box. And if you have tried any of this makeup, please leave me a comment and let me know how you've gone with it. Also let me know if there are any other standout products from these brands that I should try. All right, well that is all from me today. If you enjoyed watching, please give this video a thumbs up as it really supports my channel. And if you aren't already, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. I'll have some more videos on the screen right now for you to go ahead and keep on watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.